Good morning, everybody. This is Mike from The Last Corvette. So I haven't posted a video in a while, but this one's been brewing for uh, quite some time. Um, somebody that I know reached out to me, and he owns a C6 convertible. Uh, I believe it's an 05 C6 convertible Corvette, and he said he was having issues with his seatbelt warning light staying on even after, obviously, the seatbelt's been lashed into the buckle. So I've dealt with this before, not on the C6, but other various vehicles, and I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek if you have a similar issue, uh, and it doesn't matter if it's a convertible C6, a target top, or a fixed roof, it's basically the same, and it's also the same for most vehicles anyway. Inside the buckle is a switch, a micro switch, okay, that tells the vehicle, the body control module, that yes, you are indeed buckled in. The passenger side works a little bit different. Uh, there's a pressure switch in the cushion itself. So when you sit there and you meet the required weight, the airbag will come on and it will also request the passenger to buckle their seatbelt. Now, both of these buckles have micro switches. They're normally open, meaning that the circuit is open. When you put your seatbelt in and you latch it, it becomes closed, sends a signal over, basically creates a circuit and says, yes, you are indeed buckled in. And your little message, your little chime, your little light will go off on the dashboard because under normal conditions on all vehicles, once you start the vehicle, it will do a progressive check to make sure you don't have any coats, so on and so forth. But one thing that remains is the seatbelt warning saying, hey, you have to buckle up. Now on most vehicles, Ford's GMs and other brands, you can, mute the chime so you don't get that annoying ding ding bing bing but you're still going to get the messages and you will still get a flashing light now so when he reached out to me i said the first thing you need to do is physically look inside the buckle and see if you see any actual damage to the buckle itself and the buckle on c6 corvettes like on most vehicles is bolted up to the seat frame so if you ever had to replace it you would have to pull the seat out just like i did when i did my reupholstery now the second thing is you can take some compressed air, uh, even a uh, air duster that you would use for computers and keyboards and such, and just see if that uh, solves the problem. 90% of the time, it always goes back to the micro switch. Either A, the micro switch going bad, or B, there is some corrosion or buildup which prevents the micro switch from closing. So the next step I told him is to buy himself some electric contact sprayer, which you can buy at any auto parts store, Lowe's, uh, you know, whatever, Home Depot, even local hardware stores, and spray the crap out of it. You know, spray it for five to 10 seconds, and then what you wanna do is you wanna cycle the buckle, so basically latch on latch half a dozen times, start the vehicle, see if the problem goes away, and if it doesn't, repeat it two or three times. Now, if the problem goes away, like in his case, do the passenger side as well, and then you're good to go. If it doesn't go away, then it's more likely the switch. Now you can test the switch on a C6 Corvette. There's just not enough room there to physically, um, basically undo the harness that goes from the buckle. So you would have to still pull the, uh, pull the seat out and then test the switch with a voltmeter. Uh, you can use the ohm setting or a closed circuit setting, which will once again give you some kind of a chime on a digital voltmeter and say yes, if the switch is working or not. You'll either A, have to manually press it with a thin pick, or you can always take the seat belt out of the car. There's plenty of slack there. Uh, if you have the seat next to the vehicle, that is, and then just cycle it the same way and then with your voltmeter connected, you will see if the switch is good or bad. If it's good, then you have downstream issues uh, with the wiring. It could be the uh, connector under the seat. It could be the connector um, that basically connects the seat harness to your body harness. And then you go into the actual computers and you'll need schematics for that. But like I said, 90% of the time, it is the micro switch that goes bad. Contact cleaner uh, works great for most corrosions, most stuck switches, it cleans them up. Um, and, uh, you know, and also it's not corrosive. It drives super, dries super, super quick. And uh, there's no harm done, even if the electrical connector itself is under power. So uh, that's really it in a nutshell. Uh, of course, if you do need to replace the buckle, remember one thing, don't ever buy a used buckle. You don't know if the vehicle uh, that the buckle was removed from, uh, you know, was an accident or there's any issues, just spend the money 
Uh, it's about $90 for a new buckle for a C6 or really any other vehicle. And make sure you get your VIN number, make sure you get the, the specs right. Uh, and they're also non-serviceable. If you have any further questions, just reach out to me and I'll make a follow-up video. Thank you.